Yeah, and then, yeah, I went to London Central Mosque uh, last Sunday. It, uh, on Instagram, they put like um, the like introduction day thing. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah so I you went, just went to check it out. I went to check it out. Yeah, and the guy was explaining like, stuff, and I was really good at stuff. And then yeah. came and that's it. It's got a nice big. Yeah. Come on, you know, like a big one. Yes. It's so easy to read. Nice and big. Yeah. And yeah, I've been. Really so do you have any questions about Islam? What questions uh, do you have? I've got. I suppose like, well, I don't know everything about everything yet, but I get the yeah, idea. But you know, I know Alan, like, the one creator, and you know, I, I think it makes more sense. Like personally, for me, it makes more sense. Like Alan, like, the creator, and, and set his message. Yeah. Like, prop, like, yeah. Prop hand, yeah. Yeah. For me, I sort of like. I like believe it kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like in the past, you know, like, you like about Christianity and stuff, I don't know, I, think I give yeah. the Bible a go. I couldn't really, I couldn't really yeah. keep reading it, you know? I just found it a bit yeah. boring, but to be honest, I was the first time I sort of like got into a book when I keep reading it, you know? Yeah. And I just think, and I, another big thing I quite like about it is like, um, the discipline, you know? Like, yeah. Because I think, as a, as a person, I believe, like unless it's a certain religion and obviously one religion is only the right one yeah. but two I think like so I think what's quite good is like I've seen some people like the British people all like you know the white reverts all that kind of stuff yeah, yeah. and like not all of them but some of them like you know doing stupid things you know yeah. and then but I, don't, I don't really believe in going to like fest and some other people you know, to talk to and things the only way for me personally the guidance would be through reading the Quran yeah thing. like a religion yeah. and it does give us it gives us a clear way of life you know it tells us that you don't drink you don't yeah you know, XYZ and it, yeah. like, and it's just like a higher power who says that and for me it's like it's easy, easy to do that you it know? makes but sense yeah. like you're happy for know, Joe Smoke so that's yeah, yeah. good that's why should I listen to yeah, yeah yeah you know, I, I do find it I mean, for us, if, if somebody holds this, this, this concept of God, there's no other religion that teaches this. Yeah. Only Islam has that basic concept where we can't imagine God is outside of the creation. Is, is uh, you know, nothing like God, nothing like Allah, you know. If you hold that belief, that is a Muslim belief. That is the Muslim concept of God. Um, in order for somebody to become a Muslim, like I've been a Muslim 14 years, I took the shahadi. How do you know that? <laughs> you know, you've done a lot of research already. I suppose yeah. so. Yeah. No, yeah. So, so I mean, yeah. I mean, if some, when somebody believes, all it requires is to say the shahada. You know, the shahada is to declare there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. It's acknowledging that you don't worship Jesus or Muhammad or God or football stars or whatever it is. Yeah. You, you worship God alone. He's the most important thing. You know, God is the most important thing to you. And you obey God. And you worship God. And you acknowledge that Muhammad is the final messenger. If somebody believes that, then they're Muslim. It requires, but it requires saying it. You know? So the Shahada is the first step to becoming a Muslim. And then once somebody becomes a Muslim, then they start to learn the basics of Islam. Yeah. Learning how to pray, learning how to fast. It's nearly Ramadan, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's Ramadan in a few weeks. I'm sure you'll yeah. be trying that. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and um, you know, learning the basics. Yeah. So, I mean, why don't you accept Islam? Yeah, no, I'm honestly thinking about it, to be honest. Because yeah. I, I haven't got any... Like, I work with some people in... Uh, you know, some Muslims are Christian and, you know, yeah. uh, all kind of faith and stuff. But, no, I just, I find it, um, I don't know, I don't know why. You just, you just know it's a true faith. Yeah, no, For me, when yeah, I started reading the Quran, yeah. it was like, it's just true. I just realized that this yeah. is, it's a trustworthy book. Um, it's something that's preserved where I didn't have that belief in the Bible. Were you religious before you? I went to church. Yeah, I, I never know. believed Jesus was God, though. Yeah, it's just I had a problem with that from day yeah. from being a young, young, seven well, years old. Doesn't make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense. God's God, doesn't it? I always prayed to God. Yeah. I never prayed to Jesus. I said, God, I'm praying to you, not Jesus. Like, I think a lot of people do, don't they? Yeah. I, I, I actually believe a lot of Christians do pray to God alone. I think a lot of people in general believe there's only one, isn't there? One yeah. Because yeah. I think well, you can't have more than one of the main thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but no, I'd be Sorry, what's your name again? Matthew. Matthew. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm John. I'm John. Oh, we just need Mark and Luke now. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Matthew, why don't you accept Islam today? You can say the Shahada with me. You know, take the first step. You can. I can. 
I can help you say it in English and Arabic. Have a camera show us, right? You don't have to be. You don't have to be on camera. Forget the camera. You're not on camera, by the way. You're not, you're not there. You're not on camera. But the main, I don't care about the camera, bro. It's not. It's it's, it's about you, really. About if you, I mean, if you believe it, yeah. and you know, as I said, it's literally just saying there's nothing worthy of worship, worship except Allah, and Muhammad is the final messenger, and that's it. That brings you into the fold of Islam, and that starts your your kind of journey, you know, towards. The, I just think there's some things you need to like change, you know, before. Like, you know what I mean? Cause like, Look, listen. Let like, me tell you. I I I had the same thing. I was I used to drink. Yeah. I had a girlfriend. Yeah. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And yeah, look, know, yeah. you think I don't need to change? I've been a Muslim 14 years. Yeah. I'm not like a, I'm not an angel. I'm not like a perfect yeah, 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 yeah. human being. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the, the thing, when, once you accept Islam, then you start to work on these things. And yeah. it might take you a week, it might take you a year, it might take you yeah, 10 yeah. years. And it, it's a lifelong thing of learning and coming closer to God, understanding and learning more about Allah. And, and worshiping Allah and becoming better in yourself. It's like a, a purification of yourself and and you just become purified in your actions as well, you know. But it's not something that happens overnight. It's not like, okay, you know, okay, like at the time I was a jazz singer, right? Singing in casinos and, you know, whatever. It's like, it, it's not something where you just click and all of a sudden I'm like a, a practicing Muslim and, you know. So, yeah. No, I, I, I do, I find it like, interesting because like, the big difference I see with like with Islam is that like, Christianity is not a religion. It's like, well, it could, yeah, because the main two it is, it's like, like emotional as well. They're all very like, you know, passionate and like, they stand up for what they believe in, you know? Yeah. But if you say it about another religion, so no one really defends it today, or do you know what I mean? But you yeah. see people very like, pay, um, yeah, yeah. love, like, what's the word? Yeah. Very uh, respectful of it, you know? I, think don't, the, the, I don't see that with other religions, you know? I think the thing with Islam is people actually believe it. There's no doubt about it. You know, like when, when people become Muslim or were they born into Islam, they fully believe it. Whereas I think within Christianity, I think people have always got that doubt in the back of their mind. And it, it, there's always something that's not making sense. It's like, you know, the Jesus God, it doesn't make sense. So it's, and, and not only that, what do you submit to? Yeah. You know, as a Christian, they don't have a, a moral code. They don't have details on... Like for us, it's very clear. No alcohol, no gambling, you know. Uh, five, we've got the five pillars, but we've got, you know, guidance on what, how to live our life and how not to live our life. On all aspects of our life, without how to be a father, how to be a mother, how to be a son, how to be the correct daughter, you know, how to be a, a, a tradesman. It, 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 there's so much guidance within the Quran and the Sunnah, the, 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 the sayings and the actions of, of Prophet Muhammad. Is there another book? Because I, I, I bought the Quran, but is there yeah. another book called the Hadith? Is it? Yeah. So the Hadith are basically. Is there book, yeah, they're, they're, that, uh, that there's many of them, but the, there's the biggest, uh, the most famous collection would be Sahih Bukhari, and this is like a collection of the sayings and the actions of Prophet Muhammad. So you have the Quran, which is a revelation given to Muhammad. It's the word of God. Yeah. Whereas the hadith is like the speech and the actions of Muhammad. Yeah. This is a type of revelation that was given to him, inspired to him. So anything he said or did was a part of revelation. But it's not the Quran. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, you know, the, 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 the way the Prophet Muhammad interacted with people is all recorded. So we have so much kind of... And he is the best example. He, we believe Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the best example to humanity. Like he was the best example a human could possibly be. And we have that recorded on how to live like him. You know, how to, uh, you know, perfect our life. It makes more sense as well, because yeah. it's like, if you like, you know, be peaceful, you know, like, you think, the concept of like, you know, sacrificing someone, it's, do you know what I mean? It doesn't yeah, like, exactly. really nice, is it? So sort of, yeah. I mean, for us, we do believe in Jesus. Yes, yeah, right? prophet. He's a prophet, he's a human being, he's a prophet. He, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he wasn't crucified. We don't believe he died for our sins. Yeah. We don't believe he's the son of God. But we do believe, we do believe in Jesus though. Yeah. We do believe in, in fact, you can't be a Muslim without in Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't deny him as a prophet. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, as I said, for you, you have, if you have the belief, you believe in Allah, in the con Muslim concept of God, yeah. you believe in Muhammad, the first step is just harder. So, I mean, you know, I mean, I can help you. I mean, in, we actually say it in Arabic, so and we also say it in English, so you actually understand what you're yeah. saying. But in, 
in Arabic we say uh, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, and, and that means I bear witness there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. So I mean, if you like, you can I can I can help you pronounce it, but we can do it slowly. Yeah, yeah, because I can only speak So I mean, would you like to do it now? We go through it. I don't yeah. know why I've been nervous. I just think some things I do, you know, aren't, would be, you know, against, you know, so, you know, Islam. Found, yeah. No, look, look. You look at the Muslims around. None of us are perfect. Yeah. I've been Muslim 14 years. I guarantee you, these yeah. things I do yeah, yeah. that are not correct. You yeah. know, but. Just repent your sins. But the way I am now, 14 years on, to the way I was when I first accepted Islam, yeah. is a massive difference. Yeah. If you knew me when I first came to Islam, you'd think, who's this terror away, you know? But th that's what Islam does. It, it purifies your actions, it purifies your beliefs, you know, and, and guides you. This is something that we need in, in, this, in this day and age. We need this spiritual and moral guidance, you know, where laws are changing, rules are changing, people don't even know what's right and wrong anymore. Yeah, and that's another thing. I think the big thing about Islam principles I quite like is it's, it's, it's strict but like, in a good way and like some things you see now it's just like crazy in it but it's at least like, in the world but now it's like you know like man and woman have got their gender roles and everything's you know, you changing yeah. you know by the way this is one of the beautiful things about Islam by the way the, the roles of man and women is very clearly set out yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, men and women are spiritually equal in the sight of God. Yeah. The woman can get the highest level of paradise, yeah. the man can get the highest level of paradise. But there's different jobs, as if that makes sense. And, and this is why Islam gives the, the, the uh, responsibility of the man to provide and protect and take care of the family. The woman has to protect the inside of the house and the children, raise the children, take care of the business in the house. But at the same time, we're both equally spiritual. They don't have this uh, propaganda about women, men and women are not equal in Islam. Oh, no, 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 we're equal in the either. sense of spiritual yeah. equal. We can get the same reward in paradise, but we have different ways to get to yeah. that reward. So, the, the first thing we say, we'll say, if you like, we can say it in English first, so then you know what we're saying. So you say, uh, I bear witness. You, if you want to, you say, I bear witness. <laughs> sorry, what's you? Yeah, sorry. No, I, I, no, I do it. I, I see only sort of, uh, like, like I said, I went to uh, London Central Mosque last Sunday, an uh, in introduction. Yeah. And yeah, it's just like very appealing, you know, and if, yeah. if you think it's nice to have a faith, you know, the way you sort of yeah. go the thing, the thing with Islam, it's not just nice, like, it makes sense, like, the, it's the only religion with this concept of God, which is pure. You can't imagine God, he's beyond our comprehension, he's, he's one, he's self-sustaining, he's not required to, he's not needing any of anything, you know, he's not a man, he's, you know, this type of thing, so, it, as I said, it, this is the only religion that teaches it, and it's the only religion with the guidance on how to live it. And, you know, and it's it's changed my life. I mean, I mean, I wasn't necessarily looking for a religion personally, but when I started to read the Quran, started to look at the guidance, I was convinced that this is the truth. The concept of God for me was well, this is what I already believe. The pure one, you know, concept of one God. So yeah, I mean, if you if you like, we can, you can, you can I can help you, and we can we can say we can say the English and then the Arabic, and I'll help you. Would you like to accept this one? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we say is, uh, I bear witness that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. There's nothing worthy of worship except God. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. Yeah. And in Arabic is Ashadu. Ashadu. And, and La ilaha. La ilaha. Il Allah. Il Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. 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 That's it. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a, it, listen. It's as simple as that. It, when someone accepts Islam, a 
peace comes on the person. Uh, we believe that at that point when somebody accepts Islam, all the previous sins are wiped away and all the sins are turned into good deeds. And it's like literally starting fresh. It's so, like it's a new start from now. So after saying that now, that means... After saying that, you are a Muslim. <laughs> and, and not only a Muslim, but a very clean, fresh Muslim. Yes. You're, you're just be, it's a new start. beginning. Yeah. It's a fresh start. It doesn't matter what you've done in your past. It doesn't matter what you've done. This is all put behind. This is, this is a fresh start. And when I first converted, I had this feeling of uh, light. I felt light. I felt like uh, a peace. I don't know if how you feel or what you think. But yeah, no, but like I said, we researched it for months. Yeah. And then eventually went to mosque. I think I think there yeah. might be a bit of relief in there as well. It sounds like you've been yeah, researching for a while. Because all we have wanted to, if you had to, if I had to go back to that specific mosque, we do, you know, to take it. But because I was watching a lot of videos, old speakers corner, you know. Yeah. I never ended up coming in, come in here, but then did finally find it this time. So you was considering going back to the mosque to take shahada, you were thinking about that? Yeah, because the yeah. guy, because when the guy, um, one of the gentlemen there who was teaching about uh, Islam and stuff, he was saying, no, 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 sorry, one of the guys who went on the induction day, yeah. He 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 thinks that uh, he's been going to the mosque a few weeks before that, and he took the shower. Okay. And he said, you know, yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. Wow. How old are you, by the way? Twenty-seven. Okay. I was twenty-three. Yeah. When I became Muslim, yeah. So it's a good it's a good good time to start, and it's I'm telling you, it's the best thing you've ever done. And at the moment, you're new. Yeah. I and lots and, and you got a lot to learn, but let me tell you, it's easy. Yeah. Don't don't think it's difficult. It's easy. Look, it, it takes time. It's gonna have you're gonna have a bit of difficulty here and there, a few challenges here and there, like anything. Oh, but, I know that. Yeah, that's, that's just the But I'm telling you, I, this is a life changer. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. You know. Are you all Muslim? Yeah, it's Muslim, yeah. There's yeah. Muslims, uh, there's loads of Muslims. There's a lot of Muslims here. In fact, mo I'd say the majority of Hyde Park is Muslim. Yeah, <laughs> There's a lot of Muslims come here because we believe it's true, so we want to share it. You see all these brothers here, they're trying to share it with people. And another thing I see here, I might be biased because yeah. of, of, you know, of what I've taken a shadow, but even before that, it's a big difference I noticed. They're not being shallow or anything, but yeah. when I see it, the Muslim speaker and stuff here, it's all like normal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes when I see some other religion, like, you know, yeah. they're like shouting and screaming and I don't know. We have, our, we have our loud ones as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I've seen it on speaker's corner. I've seen... Yeah, you know, we do have a few loud some ones. Some of them, like, you know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't have my phone on me, but if you want, I can give you my WhatsApp number. Yeah. And if you need anything, yeah. we can be in touch. I don't actually live in London. I live in Turkey at the moment. You're in Turkey? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. So, uh, but, but I do know some brothers who live in London. And if you want to meet, I also know, know some brothers in... Not Swansea, but I know some brothers in Cardiff. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I can link you up with some some brothers. It's nearly Ramadan, so you, I'm sure you'll get invited to loads of uh, yeah, food. You know, yeah. I, uh, and uh, <laughs> so I mean, I can. Would you like to take my yeah, my phone number? Yeah. I'll type it. I don't. I don't want to give other people. That's all right. Uh, it's, that was it. Or? <laughs> Yeah, and it's uh, John Fontaine, uh, J O H M, space F O N T A I N, F O N T A I N, A I N. Yeah, and it is, yeah, Fontaine. So you know, you can send me a WhatsApp. I don't have my phone right now, but yeah. tomorrow I'll have my phone. You can send me a WhatsApp. We can be in touch. Yeah. And and look, as I said, look, it takes time to learn everything. Don't pressure yeah. yourself. Take your time. Um, the main thing is now just learning the basics of Islam, learning how to pray. Yeah, how did Because uh, I because when I went to uh, London Central Mosque on the induction day, no. um, the guy said, "Oh, I'm come in." So like a lot of um, like to think people interested in the religion. So we sat in the mosque. Yeah. And, uh, we've done the prayers. Yeah. And the man was saying something like. Uh, 
first do a prayer and an exam every time. Yeah, so we, we, we put our hands here to start. Say Allahu Akbar. Yeah. Allah. yeah. And then so we, when we, in the first part of the prayer, we put our hands out this, then we recite a chapter of the Quran, the first chapter, which is the, the chapter one of the Quran, it's seven verses. And then we recite another chapter, maybe a small chapter. And then we do Rukul, which is bending. And then we come back up. And then we do Sajood, where we put our head on the floor. Then we sit down, we do Sajood again. Then we stand up and we do another round. That's, that, that is two units of prayer. Now, different prayers have different amount of units. So, it sounds all confusing, but, but it's a mixture of reciting Quran, worshipping Allah, thanking Allah, obeying Allah, and also seeking and asking Allah for, for things, you know, whether it's help, support, um, forgiveness, uh, praising Allah for, for who He is and what, what he, for things He's done. Uh, also reciting the Quran because it's, you know it's a mixture of a lot of things. It's not just prayer, like from the Christian sense. It's, it's a lot of things, and the, the first chapter is is a mixture of that as well. The first chapter of the Quran. And um, what, if you send me a WhatsApp message, I have some small booklets that I can send you by PDF, and I've got one that teaches the prayer. And in the Arabic, when it says in Arabic, it's written in transliteration, which is like English letters. So, it, when you, you know, it, 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 it's written in English letters, but if you say it, it's, it's Arabic. Yeah. So that will help you in the beginning, and then you can, you know, learn how to pray. And, and the best thing is, do you have any Muslim friends or... I know Muslims in London, and I work yeah. with some, but no, like as, as personal... Yeah. I think the best thing to do would, would be to go back to the mosque, where you've been because you're familiar with the mosque you probably remember you and and they, they usually have uh, there's also a brother here we have like new muslim classes we, we was given it this morning actually at 10 o'clock in the is al muntada they have some new Mus muslim classes there we, we're helping the new muslims i mean you're welcome to attend that as well they teach the prayer but at the end of the day islam is what you make it you know you you can't expect to not put any effort in and not feel the, the rewards and, and the benefit. You know, it, it takes time as well. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's good. I think, it, I think it's good to finally do it because yeah. I've been recent, good six months probably. And then, Subhanallah, six months you've been yeah, looking for. The last few months, say more and more, more. Yeah. and then yeah, I like say I went to the mosque and got stuff, and I, you know, you know the big big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah, and I've been reading that. Then I don't know, about twenty pages or something every day, or try to read every day. Just the main thing is to understand it. Yeah. Don't read twenty pages and not understand yeah. it. You know? Yeah, of course. If yeah. it takes ten or five pages, yeah. just comprehend it. Understand what. And the other thing is as well, the Quran is not like any other book. It can. It, it, some, you got to realize that the Quran was revealed over 23 years, piece by piece. It didn't just come down in one go. So it's like clumps of verses came together. So sometimes you'll be reading, and then it'll change subject or change story, and you think it's not like other books you see. So. Again, you know, uh, watching videos on YouTube, uh, reading books, understanding the Quran, what Allah is saying is, all this is going to benefit you. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's amazing. I'm happy to uh, speak to you. And, uh, yeah. It's good, yeah. Yeah, it is, <laughs> Can I introduce you to a couple of converts? There's loads of converts here, you know. There's, there's, um, there's loads of new Muslims and converts here. And um, it'd be just nice for you to meet a couple, you know, just before you go. And just to see, like, there's so many brothers who... Let me introduce you to Brother Ben. Come. As well, he's uh, been a Muslim for 20 years. There's loads of 
I need to. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, as you say, it's just uh, just take your time. Yeah. It's a it's a journey, bro. It's it's not. It, it's it's now. It's it's a way of you know for, for the rest of you. No. 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 Not related. No. 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 Your first time. Where are you from? Saudi Arabia. Which city? Medina. Medina is all the time. Because I like Medina. I'm good.